Hey guys, Free64 Wii here, and this is pre reaction. Ugh. Oh, wait, hang on. Just wanted to set up my uh everything so yeah um i'm just waiting for the countdown it says at 10 o'clock which for me is gonna be nine which is in five minutes so i figured why not just get everything set up now so i'm ready for reactions so yeah i'm just gonna just wait here and like Go on my tablet and stuff. Eh. So, who do I think will show up first? Because usually how these things go is that we get a character, and then, like, we get info, and then some Echo Fighters. So, I feel like we're going to get seven to eight characters. And, yeah, I know about the Grinch leak, but, like... There hasn't been anything to prove or disprove it, so for all we know, like, we could be completely wrong, but we get some characters on that leak. So, like, for example, we might not get Chorus Kids, but we could still get Banjo and Gino and Isaac. That's my prediction. I predict we are going to get Banjo first, because he's a third-party newcomer, and then, like, we will get Gino, because he's, like, half third party newcomer and then like between those two we will get echo fighters and you know regular newcomers because i personally feel like banjo would get a trailer i mean he can always just get the cloud treatment and not get a trailer but yeah um that's iffy because cloud was dlc I mean, technically, Ryu got a trailer with some good CGI in it, but, like, everyone else didn't. Cloud didn't get CGI trailer. Nor did Mewtwo or Lucas. They just got, like, character trailers. Oh, it's starting! Whoa! So many characters! Oh, so beautiful! We're gonna get character first? Hello. Okay, <laughs> now where are we? We're in Sakurai's Sakura Sakura house? <laughs> this is the final Nintendo Direct before the launch of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. So far, we've confirmed 72 fighters. 74 if you count Pokemon Trainer as 3. Our entire oh, my team has worked pumping. really hard. So many characters! With this Nintendo Direct, we'll have revealed every fighter you can find in the game. <gasps> okay, let's do this. Yes, yes! Who's first? Is it Banjo? Oh, it's someone in a boxing ring. Who is it? Is it someone from Tekken? Wait, it's Ruby! It's, it's, it's uh, Ken! Hey, I'm surprised Ken got a trailer. Ken, he uh, turns up the heat. Okay, so he's, he flat out is an Echo Fighter. Yeah, his, uh, he, he's he's <laughs> he's pretty much just like, hey, I'm Ryu, but I hit multiple times. Sheesh. Wait, who's this? Hey, it kind of looks like his three footer. Oh, jeez! Wait, now who is it? Shadow? No, wait, who are you? Wait, it's in a roar! Yeah! It's in a roar! Thank God! So, you want to fight fire with fire, huh? 
<laughs> oh. Oh god. Into the roar. Oh, what was that? What was that? Okay. Oh my god. Oh, wow, Incineroar is big. He's like the size of like the Oh jeez. <laughs> Oh, he's beautiful. I love him. Ooh. Please, please. Whoa, he has like his... It, it kind of looks like his final smash. His Z-move? But, oh my god. Okay. <laughs> now you know how Little Mac feels, don't you, Ken? <laughs> what else with boxing gloves? Like, ugh. Hailing from the Street Fighter series, Ryu's rival Ken joins as an Echo Fighter. Well, I already knew that. In his original game, everyone Ken already knew that. Ryu's Echo Fighter. Though perhaps you could say Luigi. Is <laughs> That's what I always said. But let's get back to Ken. Luigi is Ken the original Echo Fighter. From Ryu Look at over Smash 64. But the Ken you'll see this time is based on Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo. Here's how he'll differ from Ryu. His heavy Shoryuken turns up the heat. The shape of his Hadouken is different too. Huh. And his Tatsumaki Senpukyaku strikes opponents multiple times. Yeah, like, Hell this, this, is, this is basically what... Focus attack. We've included lots of Ken's signature moves, such as his famous kicks, yeah, like, which change this is probably on like the least moves. interesting character. He's a bit faster than Ryu, and we've also incorporated other tweaks from Ryu. Oh, he's titles. faster than Ryu. Okay, so like Ryu, I guess I'm gonna be playing Ken. Oh, wait, why does he get two final smashes? First, That's not fair. Spinning uppercut, Shin Ryu Ken. We've made it look flashy, as it is in the Versus series. Execute a final smash near an opponent, and you'll instead perform a Shippu Jin Raikeku. Okay, now talk about Incineroar! Yay, now Incineroar! Everyone said who's dead! Incineroar. It may be a Pokemon, but it mainly uses pro wrestling moves, and as such, its throws are a bit more powerful. Oh. Like a true pro wrestler. When Whoa, what the heck? He looks like. It'll he looks like odd thanks to Mario. Luckily, you can cancel out of these poses at any time, so they Ooh. won't open you up to additional enemy attacks. Its neutral special is called Darkest Lariat. It was Incineroar's signature move in the Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon games. Perhaps it's something of a red cyclone. Its up special is Cross Chop. You'll leap up and come rocketing back down. Do, do they ha do you have this to? Do you cancel it? This attack very effective, but if you mess up, it's easy to self-destruct, so be careful. For its side special, Incineroar makes opponents <laughs> run the ropes after a dash. Oh my event. god! That when they bounce back your way, press the button at just the right moment. Okay, so his recovery. If you're too early, you'll do a back body drop. Wait too long, and you'll fail. Nail the timing, and you'll pull off a powerful lariat. Huh. Its down special is revenge. When damaged, Incineroar's burning passion comes to the surface, powering up its next attack. Ooh! That's Incineroar's idea of a counterattack. And its final smash? Max Malicious Moonsault. It's even faster and fiercer than the Z-move it's based on. I was gonna say, like, this is a Z-move, but more flashy. We finally revealed all of the fighters you'll find in the game. This is the initial fighter selection. <laughs> It is. There aren't very many at first. Oh, we're missing. Is the we're same missing. Yo, no, wait. The we're missing. Uh, and eight. once you've unlocked them oh, all, yeah, it is eight. Good, good God. Oh. It'll look like this. It may seem hard to guess where each one's located, but they're sorted by number in the order they joined the series. Wait, you can have you can have like the me fighters. I be hope separate? you'll enjoy battling with all seventy-four fighters on the roster. Also, this proves the Grinch leaks fake. Ahoy! Ooh, these amiibos look so great. I don't even own a regular Inkling amiibo, so I can totally buy this. Whoa, whoa, you look kind of old there. <laughs> Ooh, 
Okay, now when do Ken and Incineroar get their amiibos? Ooh! You may recall that we're Yay. creating amiibos. I, for I forgot they didn't the get theirs announced. Here's a look at the new amiibo figures. Yeah, Pichu, you are so lucky, buddy. Hmm? We determined that collectible trophies wouldn't be a great fit for this game. Really? Honestly, they were really difficult to develop, too. That said, the Super Smash Bros. series is one massive crossover at heart, and we want to create something more. A way to enjoy characters other than fighters, from a variety of video game worlds. So, what are you gonna do? Here's what we came up with. They're called Spirits. <gasps> Spirit mode?! And I don't mean the spooky kind. <laughs> Not the spooky kind. <laughs> To put it simply, these spirit characters will lend a helping hand to your fighters, powering them up in battle. Do I get to play at the spirit? In the Super Smash Bros. series, the characters are toys in the real world, but they are fighters in the world of the imagination. Return yeah, that was back to the in real 64. world is an ongoing theme. In the imagination, you can battle impossible combinations of characters. In this mysterious world, the unspeakable happens. Many beloved characters lose their physical forms. All what of the heck is that thing the in the middle? Are turned into spirits, unable to return to the real world. This we gotta save spirit. Tails? Fighters can join forces with spirits to enhance their powers. There's a massive amount of- Wait, we gotta save Pigma? Spirits. Who wants to do that? He's a bad guy. And Dr. Wily too, but it's There okay. are several classes of spirits. Standard spirits are dubbed novices. Stronger ones have the title advanced. Especially strong ones are called aces, and some are in a league okay. of their own. Okay, you're telling me these spirits classifications, but what is the, you know, fighting? One primary spirit can be assigned at a time. Like, what am I using these spirits for? A game mode? A primary spirit's power will be added to the fighter who has it equipped. So basically, it's like a sticker. In some cases, these augmented fighters become extremely powerful. If a primary spirit has enough available <laughs> You're slots, explaining you so much about it, but you're not spirits. showing me any gameplay of it. Like, can I see While what this spirit is? Fighter stats, support spirits lend them additional skills. Once the primary spirit and support spirits are set, your fighters all powered up. Yes! Thank you! Spirit battles! The main way to acquire spirits is to win spirit battles. You'll find a variety of spirits lined up on the <laughs> spirit. Was that, was that the literally the, the rabid when peach? You do, you'll face off against the fighter whose ability... Oh, okay, so it's challenges! Kinda, sorta, Wait, you got killed him in like spirit. four seconds? Jeez. In the case of the Lakitu and Spiny Spirit, oh, it's you'll like... battle against Iggy Koopa and a group of small red Bowsers. Oh, Iggy's well that's not really cool. I thought it was going to be like you fight minions again. Here are some examples of other battles you can expect. Is it a boss fight? Oh, you gotta fight DDD while in- well, three DDDs that are invisible. Well, I gotta say this. The spirit mode doesn't look that interesting. Like, it's it's, it's mini challenges, but like, I don't know. It, it's kind of like they threw, like, it's kind of like they threw stickers and tried to make them more important. Come on. But honestly, I don't think. I mean, I don't know, like, eh, spirit mode is meh. Like, it's meh. Whoa, what the? Oh, you can, you can have, like, a, oh, what's her name? A lip? Oh, it's right there. <laughs> yeah, you can have a lip as a me outfit? That's weird. Like, no offense, but, like, Spirits is kind of lame looking. Like, I was planning to, like, fight bosses and- Wait! What does that do, then? I just thought about that. If, like, Dracula isn't in this stuff, then what the heck is Dracula? Like, where is he? Where is him and Rappalos?
Okay, uh, can you stop showing me spirits? Like, no offense, but this is very, very lame. Hit the puppet fighter to acquire the spirit within. Heh, <laughs> that's ironic. Even if you accidentally hit the shield, the damage will carry over, so you'll have an advantage the next time you encounter that spirit. Primary spirits have strength based on their type. Attack is strong against grab, grab is strong against shield, and shield is strong against attack. <laughs> That's the rock, paper, scissors of regular Smash Bros. Like, over your opponent. <laughs> soccer, uh, people have been knowing this since When you encounter first traps game. like poison floors and slumber floors, be sure to... Yeah, it's, it's, it's been like 16 minutes. They've been talking about spirits non-stop. Like, we get it. It's spirits battle, mode. So make sure to read them and form the right strategy. With spirits on your side, there are all kinds of things you can do. When you fight with a primary spirit equipped, it'll level up after battle. Or you can feed it snacks. It's a shame they put so much thought into this, but this mode's kind of like meh. Some spirits even have an like I want, a, I want an adventure mode, not a, not a like. You can also like send spirits a, back to the real world. While you like, do have to say goodbye to that particular spirit, its core will stay. And like you say back to the real world, cores, but what does that you benefit can summon me? A new spirit. You can also train spirits at dojos and the gym. Or send them off in search of treasure, which they'll bring back to you. These seem like unlikely like also, if I can compare this, this feels like, um, could be somebody this, like a, this, this feels like a curvy mode side thing you barely touched. Training and exploring continues to yield results, even while playing other modes, or after turning off the game. So if you send out your spirits, Like, I definitely like gonna try this, because it looks like you could, like, Get a lot of hours out of this, but what I want to know is like are known as masters. Is where the bosses? You can beat them to unlock facilities. Spirits can also be used to power up amiibo figure players. You must is that me or Peach is like but idol animation looks a little weird? Multiple times. Okay, there. I was, I was gonna say like she didn't do like any of her like movements. It's one great big collection of characters from many different series. But just but basically, this is how they're are. replacing trophies with stickers again. Yeah, uh, you already told Whenever us about final smash the meters. Spirit, the final smash meter is enabled. Oh, okay. Some spirits even help you fill up your gauge. At Wait, Yoshi? Rate. Oh, oh my God! Yoshi's final smash in this game is the melee opening. That's funny. Another way to put it. Well, what the heck? The spirit system lets you simulate battles between characters from. Okay, more now we're getting interesting. Before. You can enjoy many unbelievable combinations. This is what I like. This now you're making the fight interesting. Thank you. The power. I guess because like you have challenges, but like here. there wasn't anything that really was like oh. Of course, stronger spirit teams make it easier to defeat weaker spirits. The more your power overshadows theirs, the less you'll be rewarded. Uh, excuse me. It pays to have a fair fight. But yeah, like th this feels like they wanted to give stickers a purpose, honestly. While assembling a team. Press the Y button for a recommendation that has a type advantage against the opposing spirit team. The game will <laughs> Whoa, recommend I support spirits like, who can help They just out want to touch on spirits conditions. for like 20 minutes and give us Keep two characters. Hey, I'm not complaining because I got Incineroar in Smash. You can also fight against other players who are using spirits. Given the way spirit types interact in battle, Think carefully when building your team. Ooh, you know what this means? Or balance your strength. This means the box theory battle. is real. Ooh, online. The game okay. lets you battle together with friends via local wireless. Or is it take better? Fight to the world. Because <laughs> like play. now we gotta pay for online. To connect two Nintendo Switch consoles, press the DR button to pull up the dashboard and select local wireless. There's no longer a need to separate the online modes into for fun and for glory. Yes, Instead, what are you doing? matchmaking is based on three factors. 
For online battles, you can set your preferred rules. Ooh, okay, that is These rules way can better. Be pre registered, so you can quickly select your favorite playstyle. Before battle, one player's preferred rules will be chosen at random. That's and way all better. And will fight using those rules. You can also choose not to set any preferred rules and let the others decide instead. If possible, the matchmaking system will find players with similar preferences and link them up for Okay, this is way better. Thank you. Oh, Global Smash Power global again? Global Smash Power is being factored into matchmaking, but it's still used as an online leaderboard as well. No one cared about Global Smash Power. A high GSP score, such as 100,000, means you've got more points than 99,999 other players. No one cared. GSP will change as the total population of players Come on, we're at, we're at 21 minutes. You gotta give if me more than for a challenge, Global Smash try Power. Try increasing your Global Smash Power so that you'll naturally end up with some more serious opponents. By the way, you can set a GSP score for each fighter. Fighters you haven't used yet will be assigned a placeholder GSP based on the <laughs> Well, I guess Dark Pit's gonna have zero. Fighters. If you repeatedly self-destruct on purpose, you could face a penalty, like being disconnected. So please don't do that. Ah. Uh, As with any multiplayer game, I said uh because sometimes you get important. laggy people. For this like reason, I fought this all the once. He was super laggy. I was like, uh, no, I gotta like. So gotta even if you here. set your preferred rules, please understand that we can't promise uh, you're Now I gotta deal with the lag. I I'm sorry, anyone in the future as who such, watches my fight. We'd appreciate it if you could make your connection as stable as possible. A wired LAN cable is recommended. <laughs> you're trying to charge me more money? No. We've prepared a variety of other features for local wireless and online battles. Elite battles. Once your global smash power is high enough, you can enter elite battles. When you reach this level, feel free to pat yourself on the back. You're good, period. After the game releases, we may adjust the game balance, and the team will definitely pay attention to the results of these elite battles. Why not the other battles? <laughs> Smash tag. Everyone who plays online needs their own smash tag. Oh, it's, uh, this is from Brawl. If you beat a fellow player, you'll receive their smash tag. But it's not like you'll lose your smash tag even if you lose a battle. Okay, you okay. So basically, everyone you win. I beat, well, I can like collect lots them again? of smash tags. You can Man, they're going really oh, in depth with this. Like they're like, we didn't get time to talk about this last time, so buttons. we're talking about it now. Freely choose from a wide selection of varied preset messages. After you've chosen, hey, you game explained. Uh, we'll talk about this. They were like, again. like, hey, not every do mode something will else. be available while matchmaking runs in the background, but you can leave and enter some game modes. He do. Oh, spectator. Mirror. Spectator well, mode returns once again. I never got the so point of spectator mode because it's kind of just like, Maybe well, I can just watch some someone on YouTube. Way. So what's the point? Form a two-player team and play together online with a single Nintendo Switch system. You'll be paired up against two-player uh, well, teams with the same. Well, I, I have a friend, but like he lives miles away from me. Ballerina. When you want to play online, you can create a special type of room to fight other players. Ugh, okay, this is way if better than Wii U. One of these battle Already, arenas, they mixed, you can they, fight they, they mixed up Wii U stuff Here, and they there mixed are spots up where you can join the stuff battle, and made it good. Line, or even spectate. It all depends where you place your token. When you're in a battle arena, this should come in handy. <laughs> no. With the Nintendo Switch Online app, you can voice chat with others in battle. <laughs> they didn't even bother to do what? They just used Toad again. <laughs> it may become an essential tool for some players. We are also developing a free service for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, and we're naming it Smash World. So what? It's Instead like a of picture thingy. On stats like win-loss records, we're allowing players to post gameplay videos, watch them, and more. Once the service starts, we'll offer regular updates so you can post to your heart's content. Wait, Shadow? Next, oh, like Shadow got topics and Wait, well, he's already just, 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 that will support your fight. That's sad. Why do we wait so long for Shadow? Do you know which characters come from which games? That hurt. Wait, who showed up now? Whoa, who are you? Oh, it's the girl from, uh... Dang it, what is that? Okay, there it is.
what did that do? Isaac, no! <laughs> Poor Isaac fans, he could have been DLC. Here I go. And Black Knight, no! <laughs> Shadow, Black Knight, Isaac. Who else do you want to kill? <laughs> A flop? Oh, <laughs> I was gonna say, like... <laughs> okay. Luigi, why did you move? Springman, no! <laughs> oh, this is a massacre. A horrible massacre. Dr. Wily? <laughs> he just blows up. He's like, oh, please, forgive me. <laughs> the flies from Mario Paint. Okay, that was really cute. Yeah, Dr. Wilder was a surprise. Everyone else was kind of like, no. Oh, now who is it? Oh, Kiki. Wait, who are you? Oh, wait, I know you. You're the guy from the paint game. That I play. What's called Art Academy? Yeah, Art Academy. That's cool. Guile? Uh, okay. <laughs> okay then. That was nothing. You're gonna... <laughs> <laughs> the guy from Virtual Fighter? <laughs> Man! Okay, everyone should try grabbing these guys, because they're like, they're, they're like, put up a fight. Anyone else? The total number of assist trophies is now 59. Actually, they outnumber the Pokemon this time. Assist trophies who can be KO'd can also uh, be defeated by the fighter who summoned them just before- I already know game. that! I don't know why that you had to go assist trophies point twice, but whatever. Player. Also, I was hoping when he died, he would have had like the little trick test. I'd like to cover a variety of other features in the game. Yes, tell us more. <laughs> You're if really you gonna talk about controls help. or game modes. <laughs> press the ZR button to open the dashboard and look in here. There are all kinds of helpful guides to check out. Wait, wait, what was? Century Smash may look familiar to veterans. It feels great to keep smashing enemies off the screen, doesn't it? Wait, you can play are you, on many different stages. Are you, you, are you just calling like Multi-Man Melee Central Smash now? In previous games, you had to unlock every fighter before playing All-Star mode, but now you can play it right out of the box. The currently available fighters will appear endlessly. Okay. You can save the replay data of your Yeah, battles. the new replay. And now, you can create videos with it. There's also a menu where you can read those quick tips and tricks. Well, we already know that. That was from Wii U. When viewing them, you can sort by category or fighter. Can we see some single player content? Because I need to unlock some care. Oh no! The you challenge wall! To earn rewards. This time, each page is sorted by category, and the layout looks more like a comic book. Which is really cool. Press the button to check out each picture. Enjoy! The records menu tracks your battle history. <laughs> there are five different <laughs> I like that you showed off the little pointless stuff, like, Hey, you here's records, and help! For offline it's and like, online. okay Sakura, you didn't have to tell us this exactly, we know! Trade in smash tags to score some in-game gold. Ooh, what the shop do? Gold can be exchanged for music tracks, spirits, you and get items for spirits mode. And music? If you're collecting music, I recommend you visiting the shop to find the ones for the you regular want, characters? instead of just relying on challenges. That's something I hear a lot of people say they would like to see. More alternate outfits, just saying. You can enter the options menu by pressing the ZR button to open the dashboard. Language support? This one game supports 11 languages. Oh, okay. I know this is very important to some of you. 
For example, the voices of Pokemon are different in several languages. That's cool, you can do that official now. The fighter names like... are also specific to each language. <laughs> Such an unnecessary thing. <laughs> What the heck was that thing? It was like Ducha Blue Day. What the heck? Well, hey, if you don't want to hear like the characters in English, you can always switch them. TV mode and handheld mode. I'll probably do that too. Brightness and sound. They'll change automatically when you dock. Oh my God! Okay, we get it. You're not even gonna show us pointless stuff. <laughs> We've implemented a radar that displays the locations. Of all <laughs> that was the first you thing we noticed. <laughs> like, <laughs> now you just tell us While stuff it's we know. To wireless and online play, you can make your teammates semi-transparent so you don't. That's get helpful. <laughs> Custom balance. Okay, what does that do? If you're fighting against a friend on the same system, you can adjust the strength of your fighters. Weird. Sometimes a player is just too good. And you want to take measures to ensure it's a fair fight. <laughs> so like you case, can just like try using mess with feature. people be like, hey, you like when Falco? custom we balance can is adjusted, that. a symbol will be displayed. Of course, this feature is not available during wireless and online battles. Me fighters, okay. You can customize your me Man, it is really loud outfits. outside. In addition to the voice options, there are a variety of outfits. Can you to give me a custom voice? Hello. Me fighter. You're really quiet so Speaking of me fighters, let me introduce you to some new outfits we added in. Do I get to keep my old outfits though? I see the Zelda symbol. It kind of looks like Deadpool. <laughs> you gotta just put two two inklings. That's funny. And Ribbon Girl? Ugh! Why are they doing this? I think Nintendo's just having fun. Chibi Robo? Okay, that's good. That's nice. Ray. I know him. He was an assist trophy in Brawl. Wait! You can have the Labo set? Oh my god, I am so gonna use that with my name. Anyway, there's something I should point out. Uh, why is everyone like mowing their As lawn said, outside my room? revealed all of the fighters you can find in what the game. DLC? But there are even more coming post-launch. And they are? While we've already implemented a huge roster of fighters, this is the Super Smash Bros. series. Which means we're leaving the opportunity open to add in more fighters as paid DLC. As who? Since we already included every fighter from the past games, that means there are no more fighters to include unless we develop new fighters from scratch. And we're not talking about Echo Fighters. Wait, are you not going to have Echo developing Fighters? developing and selling sets that will include one fighter, one stage, and multiple music tracks. The price for each set is expected to be $5.99. At the same time, we will offer the Fighters Pass. That's five fighters, five stages, and all of their music tracks. Okay, so we're getting five characters and five new stages. Interesting. When creating something like the Fighters Pass, ideally, we should reveal what's included before it becomes available for purchase. However, please allow us to offer this pass before we're ready to reveal its contents. I hope See? only those who are confident in its value will purchase it. Again, the price is $24.99 for all five sets. Now that we've finally confirmed the development of this DLC, please know that we'll be working really hard on it. One of them has to be Gino. I just know it. Oh, oh. <laughs> I wonder if I'll ever get to take a break. <laughs> By the way, no. here's one purchase bonus you'll get with the Fighter's Pass. Includes who? It's a Mii Sword Fighter outfit based on Rex from Xenoblade Chronicles 2. We decided Weird. which fighters to include when we started planning, so we couldn't add characters from titles like Xenoblade Chronicles 2, which was announced after planning had started. I Makes hope sense. this outfit will help you feel like you're playing as Rex. We're Everyone kept saying that too. Music from the Xenoblade Chronicles series. Give it a listen at Gaurapain sometime. 
Other Xenoblade Chronicles characters will also appear as spirits. Why not? They're stickers! We've yet to create any of the paid DLC, and we haven't locked down any release dates. But we'll start working on them as soon as we're finished with the main game. Okay, so we'll start seeing DLC around, around next year. It may take around to finish releasing all the DLC. God, but, on a separate note... Yeah? Limited time offer? We're currently developing something. Something you'll get for free as a limited time offer if you buy the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate game now. It isn't finished yet, but I want to give you a special sneak peek. Oh, what is it now? Okay, what is happening? What the heck? Piranha, an enemy? <laughs> oh my god! Why? I am so... <laughs> oh my god! This, this came out of nowhere! Can he... Can he like... Oh, he's just a piranha! Okay! This is weird! Oh my god! Oh my god! And he turned to the Phoenix! Oh, oh, he, he, he turned or something? Oh my god. They turned a piranha plant into a fighter. Oh my god. That's right. Piranha plant will take root in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. And not as an assist trophy, but as an actual fighter. It can spit poison, fire off spiky balls. Okay, this throws everything long -range out attacks. of the world. This tricky character is full <laughs> like, of Like what? Its final smash is PD Piranha. If you get caught in the cage, well, let's just say it won't end well for you. Piranha Plant is scheduled for completion after the launch of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. We've gotten a little head start on it, but it probably won't be ready until a couple of months after launch. Please stay tuned. That's, that's... Remember, Piranha Plant is a free, limited time offer. For the physical version of the game, you only need to go through the My Nintendo Gold Point registration process to receive it. I hope you'll consider pre-ordering. We're also creating an amiibo. <laughs> Why, though? No. Nice <laughs> like, out of all the characters you can choose from Mario, you choose PD Par- no, not Par- No, you Later today, Piranha you'll be able Plant. to purchase the game after finishing this Nintendo Direct. I hope you'll go to Nintendo eShop or Nintendo.com before you forget. Before we go... I have an announcement for everyone watching this in North America. Yeah? On our official site, you can find information for a variety of upcoming hands-on events. Okay, so technically we got three characters. We'll have a chance to Six if you all count the DLC characters. So please check out the website to find out where we'll show up next. And but more. yeah, that was something. That's it for the last Nintendo Direct for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate before okay, the game Okay, you excited me, you bored me, and then you like blew me out of the go. water with that piranha plant. I should mention that the adventure mode in Wait, we have, we have an adventure mode? mode Where is this coming from? The subspace emissary. That said, what exactly caused all these characters to lose their bodies and transform into spirits? I'll show you how it all begins, and leave the rest to your imagination. Okay then, please look forward to the game's release. Okay then, bye! Don't let a single one get away! <laughs> it's weird seeing, like, all the bad guys here too. Wait, Master Kid? What the heck? This thing is making master hands. We'll each need to take down about ten. Stow your fear. It's now or never. We'll win this. I know we will. Can I hear Sonic talk? <laughs> master spirit? Wow. Am I 
question is, because he, it's not like a Pikachu that's running out of there. Because it's not going to even get a chance. Can the Inkling just try to hide? My question, Snake? <laughs> he was snake. I like the duck hunt dogs like trying to hide. Who's left? Kirby? Oh! Man, everyone got taken. Then who's the character you play as to start this thing off? Hello? Is this Dan? <laughs> Any survivors? Oh, Kirby survived. Pretty. On that day when the sky fell away, our world hmm. came to an end. An evil Mario? Rise, or a metal Mario? What's I was not expecting the song? Can the possessed Mario be an outfit? Oh, jeez. Okay, now they're finally making the spirit mode look interesting. Whoa. I guess if you get Bowser there. Also, I'm happy they're making the Smash Bros. world into a world. What the heck? Oh, it's you again! Super Smash Butters. Ultimate. World of Light? Okay then. Well, that was the direct, and my god, that was amazing. Okay, so, do we get any... Oh, we got a treehouse now. Yeah, but that was crazy. Like, ugh.